did the right thing, prayed three times a day. And of course, you're always going to have haters when you're doing the right thing. And of course, we know he was thrown in the den of lions, but God spared him because he was not going to stop praying three times a day. And he had to go into a great tribulation. He had to go into a place where he could have gotten ripped apart immediately by those lions. But God sent an angel to shut the mouths of the lions. Once again, we have another saint experiencing great tribulation, but God kept them. We all know Job, how Job lost everything. And it seemed like it happened all in one day. He lost his children. He lost his wife because she told him to curse God and die. So I, I'm almost considering that he didn't stay with her after this. He lost his health. He lost his livestock. He lost everything. And the Bible says that Job was perfect. Not that Job never ever sinned, but he walked righteously and holy before God and hated evil. But God decided one day he was going to test. There was a there was a contest between God and Satan and Satan felt though the only reason why Job was serving God because he kept a hedge around him and he blessed him and he kept him safe. But God already knew, no. He serves me in holiness and righteousness because he just loves me which was later proved throughout that story. But he was thrown into a great tribulation where he suffered anguish and oppression and trouble and distress and pressure. I mean, I can't even imagine going through all that in a day. Or well, even in a couple of days, just losing everything. But later we know God restored him and gave him double what he had previous. David, King David, was constantly at a at an early point in his life after, of course, he defeated Goliath. He was constantly being pursued by King Saul because of jealousy. King Saul was trying to kill David. But God kept David safe. And also later on in David's life, life as he gotten older, two of his sons tried to overtake his kingdom. So he had went through a whole lot of great tribulation in his life, a lot of turmoil. Some was um, done because of something he did and some were just because God deemed it to be so. But David remained faithful to God, period. Yes, he made some mistakes, but overall he stayed faithful to God. Last person and I'm going to be finished. Elijah. Elijah was a man that just came out of nowhere, popped up on the scene and preached to the children of Israel to stop worshiping idols and to stop living wickedly. And Jezebel was the queen at the time. And King Ahab was one of the most wicked kings in Israel's history. So you had two straight up devils. That were in charge of the kingdom. And Jezebel was going out of her way to murder all the prophets, all the true prophets of God. She went out of her way to murder them all. And God sent Elijah to prophesy against King Ahab and his wife. And because of his testimony and because of what he represented, she tried to have Elijah killed. But of course, God protected him and kept him. And allowed him to continue with his ministry until it was time for him to, to leave. And when he left, the, when he went to heaven on a fiery chariot and was translated, his ministry was transferred to Elisha. But he went through a great tribulation. Imagine being pursued by somebody trying to kill you and you don't know where to go. But even in the midst of him being pursued, God fed him and God kept him through it all. I say again to my fellow believers, we will experience great tribulation, but Jesus made it very clear. He that endureth until the end, the same shall be saved. There will be volume three coming soon. Be blessed. 
and stay with the Lord and live a life full of truth, righteousness, and holiness. Because without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. God bless you all.